Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 22, the show Red Sox franchise mode. And today we have the second game of this three game series against Chicago White Sox. And of course, last time out, we lost to them in the game one, uh, you know, to Dylan Cease pretty much. He had a fantastic outing against the Red Sox. And of course, we could barely touch his pitches. But uh, in the end, I think, I believe, Sandra Bogarts with the solo home run. To kind of break the deadlock a little bit but later on just offensively have been poor and of course um gave up quite a lot of runs from uh, nick Pavetta, i believe and later on right here we are going to play against once again and of course dallas keiko the former astro starting pitcher is pitching for the white Sox in today's game honestly after the Astro won the World Series, and of course, Dallas Keiko was a big part of that team. Since then, after uh, his free agency and signed with the White Sox, I haven't been actually heard a lot from him lately. Not quite sure why. I'm pretty sure his player, like this player, is definitely dipping in a lot of ways, and not. I'm not surprised that we haven't been hearing a lot from him, to be honest. But right here, again, this is another matchup. Rich Hill will be on the mound today for tonight's game. And, of course, right there, unfortunately, Rich Hill conceded a run right there, losing a run, but later on. But, of course, we struck first with two runs earlier on. And here comes the bottom of the second right here. A.J. Bullock uh, will be uh, got strikeout right there. Strikeout looking with a fastball inside and later on. Adam and Gale, he also gone down strike looking, not looking, but strike three with the uh, ball on the ground on the dirt for the third out right there. And here, top of the third, center Bogarts hits a ground ball to second base. And again, what a great play right there to end the inning. And Yoan Moncada, 0-2 pitch to him, and he is going to hit that one. Good block by Devers right in front of him. And of course, great recovery to get him out at first. And 2-1 still man on first and second unfortunately johan mises hit a ground ball double play four six three double play to end the inning aj bollock once again he is going to hit a fly ball to hernandez right in the center field area leaving one man on base again we have been or richo has been quite efficient with his pitches today and devers right here is going to ground a six four or four six three double play but meanwhile one run's going to score again uh, even though that rbi doesn't quite belong to devers but honestly having an extra run especially against chicago white Sox, it's a must especially honestly i think chicago white Sox has a pretty pretty good pitching record against us so i wouldn't even mind getting that run despite Devers not getting any credit from that but later on Rich Hill has done with his five innings today again he has been you know what phenomenal you don't I don't say that a lot to Rich Hill but he has been pretty good in today's game and Gary Whitlock will be replacing him in the sixth inning striking out the the third batter he faces and later on Matt Strong will be coming up to clean up his mess and of course leaving one man on base facing a very very good uh left-handed pitcher later on and i don't know what happened right there so we're gonna skip to uh jose ruiz right here making his 16th appearance of the season and here comes christian Vasquez, a 0 count right here and let's see if he can get a one two three inning of course ruiz can and christian Vasquez hasn't been quite performing lately not quite sure why his form is again dipping slightly bit in this season, Ryan Bridger will be coming on right here for the bottom of the seven, striking out uh, Angel right there to end the inning. And Ryan Burr will be making his eighth appearance of the season right there with a narrow a 4.05. And right here with a man of first and second 1-0 count to JD Martinez. He launches this one to right center field. It is going to be a gapper. Seems like one run is going to score. And later on, Devers is going to score all the way from third. He did stumble a little bit. You guys can see that. But then, of course, he uh, made a home uh, quite safe in the end. And J.D. Martinez with a two-run double to extend the lead. And later on, Christian Cassette, unfortunately, couldn't really do any damage right there. Burr collects his first save of the game, or first strikeout of the game, and 2-2 two -two count to Verdugo. he gone down strikeout right there with a uh, with a slide at the bottom of some very good pitch right there. Josh Taylor will be coming on to make his 14th appearance of the season with an ERA 0.71. Again, his job is to minimize the damage, and of course, he did. Moncada grounds this one, a one-hopper one, a one -hopper 
to Devers to end the inning. Of course, Candle uh, Graveman will be pitching for the 18th time of the season with a near a 4.9110 count to Kike Hernandez. And Kike is going to hit a ground ball straight at Tim Anderson for a ground out right there to end the inning. And moving on, a non-save situation in Jake Diekman. It's a great time for him to actually uh, you know, use him in this game, especially if we have a four-run lead. Instead of using Matt Barnes, why not just use Jake Diekman? And right here, 2-0 count. What a great play by Tristan Cassez right there. And, of course, the throw right there. It's also money. Jose Abreu got ground out right there with the with an amazing catch by Tristan Cassez. And later on, one run's going to score from that play later on, but it wouldn't matter because another ground ball to Cassez to end the inning and we have split the series 5-2 in this game again uh offensively really uh you know just gotta give all the credits to jd martinez that two run double it's definitely definitely helpful for the team and of course pitching wise rich hill has been quite uh phenomenal in the first five first five innings and of course, collecting his win as well. Played the game, JD Martinez, two for four with two doubles and three RBIs. Rich Hill, he pitched five innings, allowing one run, one walk, four hits, and striking out two. And Dallas Keiko will be taking the loss. And in the next episode, which is which will be out in three hours at 9 p.m. Pacific time, we are going to close down this three-game series against uh, against Chicago White Sox. Well, by the time I'm recording this. Um, I'm already or releasing this video. I'll, I am already on my vacation. So I'm excited for that. But you know what? Anyway, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in a bit.